In this Nuage tutorial, we're going to take a look at the hardware control of Control Room on the Master Unit. The Master Unit has dedicated buttons and knobs just for Control Room access because this is something that we use all day long, every day in the studio constantly. Switching speaker systems, turning the volume up and down, switching monitor sources, all of that sort of stuff that's all handled with Control Room. And Nuage has um, a, a great setup for it here on the master unit. So let's take a look. Um, you can see here we have the basic control room section here and then the monitor sources. And we're going to take a look at how this works and see how it relates over here to the monitor sources up here and also speaker selection, uh, down mix presets, that sort of stuff. So uh, to begin with, Here's the most important knob in the whole studio, the volume knob. Um, we get a, uh, a numeric readout in decibels up here about um, how much we're turning up and down the speakers so we can know what level we're at. It's nice and handy. Um, also, there's a, there's a reference level that can be set in preferences so that if you're using a calibrated speaker system like film mixing or uh, television DVD, and you want to keep on using a reference volume level for your speakers, you can program that in and simply hit the button and you can see that volume knob goes to a preset minus 9.74 in my case. You can set that to whatever you want. It's, it's configurable to your needs. But if I have it turned way down low and I want to go back up to my reference level, all I have to do is hit that button. Also, as, as far as volume control, we also have the dim control, which again, this is, um, it's, uh, adjustable in preferences, you can have the speakers dim by a set amount, 20 dB, 40 dB, 6 dB, d depends on what you want. Um, that's a preset um, dim button for the speakers. Also, uh, you can just plain old mute the speakers if you want. That way it turns everything off real quick. Phone rings, somebody comes in the studio, you want to turn it off real quick. The mute button is right there. So that's a volume for control room. And then over here, we have the next most important thing, which is the speakers. Uh, most studios uh, have multiple speaker systems to listen to the material on, to compare, to make sure things are going to sound across, sound good across a wide variety of speakers. Um, and in the case of, of uh, a surround sound mixing, we might have, you know, maybe four sets of speakers. We could have a big 5.1 system a smaller, more consumer-based 5.1 system, maybe a small set of stereo speakers or midfield stereo speakers, and then maybe a very small set of auratones or something like that. So that could easily eat up four different um, speaker systems. And Nuage allows you to switch, Control Room allows you to switch between four different uh, speaker systems. And each speaker system can be its own um, size. You know, this could be a 7.1, this could be a 5.1, this could be stereo, this could be mono, however you want to do it. Um, but this is how we switch between those speakers right here, A, B, C, and D. And if you see up here in the control room, I'm looking at the control room section of the Nuage uh, mixer window here. Um, I can switch between the different speakers here and I can actually see the names that I have given them. And you'll see how the uh, buttons are lighting up to correspond to which speaker system I'm on, um, depending on which one I select. Okay, now if you notice, as I'm switching speaker systems, this down mix number is also changing. For example, my, my uh, A set of speakers is a stereo set of speakers. It can't listen to a 5.1 uh, signal. It has to listen to a down mixed stereo version of that signal. And that's what the down mix preset will allow me to do. When I go to the second set of speakers, they're also stereo. Then when I go to the third set of speakers in my setup here, it's a 5.1 system. And now the down mix goes up to 5.1. In other words, there's no down mix for those speakers. We're going to hear the full 5.1 signal. And then the last set of speakers uh, is a little mono speaker. So I have the uh, down mix preset set to mono there. Now, you can change this. In other words, I could have the, my small stereo speakers uh, have a mono down mix, and it'll remember where I last left it. So if I switch to the 5.1 system, it'll go to 5.1. Uh, if I go back to that little stereo system, it'll go back to the last down mix preset 
I had selected, which was mono. So um, the 5.1 speaker system, you can down mix it uh, from 5.1 to stereo to mono if you want. This is all configurable to your needs. Everybody has a different need um, for, for monitoring for their speaker systems, and uh, Nuendo and Nuage allow you to configure that just, just the way you want to. Next is the phones channel. If you add a phones channel to control room, that will allow you to have a separate set of headphones just for in the control room, not, not for uh, musicians or talent in the studio. It's really for the engineer to have a set of headphones in the control room to be able to listen to things. And the way we access that signal, or the way we control that signal, is by pressing the phones button. Now, if you notice, the volume indicator changed. So when we press the phones button, you'll see the little icon here, the headphone icon that shows us now we're controlling the headphone output. And we can make adjustments to that volume independently of the speaker system. So no matter what the speaker system is set to, when we switch to phones, the control is independent. Also, uh, the mute affects uh, both the phones and the uh, speaker systems. So we can mute the speaker system by itself and have the phones unmuted, or we can have them both unmuted. They're independent, but they work for both channels. The reference level is only for the um, speaker systems, not for the phones channel. The same goes for the dim button. It only affects the speaker channels, the monitors, and does not affect the phones channel. So that's it for the basic controls of the control room on the master unit. Uh, we'll get into more detail about the monitor sources and uh, uh, other aspects of the control room in other tutorial videos. So we'll see you then.